Hey, what's going on guys? Food Less is back and today we're making wedge salads. You know, I've really just been craving them lately. They always seem to be my go-to salad whenever they're on the menu. We're gonna do two versions. We're gonna do a classic steakhouse style and of course we're gonna do one Food Less style. Stick around, I'll show you how. I have two different blue cheeses here. This is a Danish blue cheese. We're gonna use this to make our blue cheese dressing. This is Maytag blue cheese. It's an American blue cheese. It's a little higher quality. We're gonna use that crumbled over our wedge salad. Did you know that Maytag blue cheese is made from the same family that makes the household appliances? And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We're committed to putting out weekly kitchen content. Come on by, check us out whenever you like. Feel free to help support the channel. Give us a thumbs up. Our blue cheese dressing starts with about six ounces of crumbled blue cheese in our bowl. This is about 10 ounces of cultured buttermilk. If you don't have buttermilk on hand, that's okay. You can use regular milk. Just make sure you add a little bit of acid, either in the form of some lemon juice or some white vinegar. Here we have about a third of a cup of sour cream. And this is about a third of a cup of mayo. A little garlic powder, pinch of salt, a little pinch of sugar, cracked black pepper, Now we'll cover this and refrigerate it for a few hours and that buttermilk will naturally thicken it just a bit. Now here's a little trick. If you're ever making a cream based dressing and it's a little too thin, you need to thicken it just a bit. I'm sure you're all familiar with this product. Add a little bit of this, it contains xanthan gum, which is a food additive and it helps thicken and stabilize. I have two heads of iceberg lettuce that I'm gonna quarter. We're gonna make eight wedge salads. Not because I'm entertaining, but because I'm gonna eat them all. I'm gonna leave the cores on for now and we'll remove those after we wedge them. We'll rinse these thoroughly and then we'll remove the cores and those will help keep everything intact. Now we have these perfect little wedges. They're nice and clean. We're gonna stick them in the refrigerator and let them get really cold until we're ready to dress them. For our classic steakhouse wedge, we're gonna use some diced bacon, some sliced cherry tomatoes, and our Maytag blue. For our food less wedge, we're gonna make some fried crispy onions. These are some mini San Marzano tomatoes that we're gonna blister. We have our Maytag blue, some chopped scallions, and these are some bacon rolls that I'm gonna deep fry. What I did was I just sliced the slap bacon in half and then I rolled each piece up and I put them on a toothpick. 